hey loves, I'm Audra Sardulis and this is The Secrets of Sex. I have a little update, please forgive me, I have been gone for a couple of weeks. It's been a struggle guys, it's been a real struggle. Um, <clears throat> if you follow me on any of my social media, my Instagram at Green Eyed Wonderlust, or my, um, either my personal Facebook or my business Facebook, which is The Secrets of Sex, a, a historical blog, vlog, whatever, um, you'll know a little bit of what's going on. So, um, <laughs> I... I deal with um, lower extremity nerve damage. And at times it becomes very, very difficult to even function <laughs> due to pain. Um, and in December, something started to happen and I, I wasn't really sure what it was. And then in de um, January, my SI joint popped out. I will put a picture here for you so you know what that looks like. So my SI joint popped out. Um, to say that I was and have been in excruciating pain is an understatement. <laughs> it's an understatement. Um, <clears throat> I had to walk with a cane, my cane, for about four weeks. God, I guess I've been gone longer than a couple of weeks, huh? I'm sorry. Um, I had to walk with my cane and I was and, and have been dealing with just excruciating pain. So doctors give you the scale of one to 10, right? 10 doesn't even describe the level that I have been dealing with. And um, I've had some medication and all of that and that doesn't even work. It doesn't, it doesn't, it does not touch this pain. Um, I did go to see my neurosurgeon and all of that. Um, I initially got to see his uh, physician's assistant first. And then that night I came home, I took the hottest shower I could possibly take, like Khaleesi style hot water, right? And I was like, God, that feels so nice. Well, <clears throat> after that, I popped my SI joint back in before they could get my x-rays. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that was traumatic, it was very violent. And before you ask, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how my SI joint popped out. I don't, I, I, I didn't fall. I, I wasn't in a car accident. I wasn't hit, I, I, I nothing happened. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Um, the only thing that makes any sense right now is I'm also on a weight loss journey. Um, again, anybody who knows me and has been following me for years, um, I'm a personal trainer, I'm a master trainer. I've been doing that for 20 plus years. And because of my nerve damage, I have dealt with some weight gain and loss and weight gain and loss, it's affected my thyroid. Um, so I've been on keto and I have lost about 25 pounds. Um, I would say since you guys started with me, really, um, I'll be continuing this until I reach where I want to, right? So whatever. But that's when it started. I lost like, I lost like 15 pounds and then like my SI joint popped out, boom, right? I'm like, oh, congratulations, you, you lost some weight. Here's a reward. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a good one. I, so I don't know. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. It, it's, just, it's the oddest thing. Anyway, so like my SI joint pops back in. Um, I had some relief, so I wasn't in like, want to blow your brains out. I, I know that's not funny. And before any of you ask on that, no, I'm not suicidal. No, I'm not that person. I will fight until my very last breath on this earth. I will never, ever, ever give up, ever. Um... But I want you to realize that if you have chronic pain and you're dealing with things, please understand you're not alone. And if you need somebody to talk to, you can reach out to me in my email, which is here in my YouTube. Um, uh, anyway, so 
I get back to my doctor and they decide that they're going to do an anesthetic nerve block because they thought that this was coming from my lower spine, my L4, L5, S1 area, right? Um, because I do have some stenosis. Stenosis is where the bone grows out and it starts to close out the nerve pathway, creating like more than friction, compression on the nerve. So that's what they thought was happening. So three weeks ago now, I had a anesthetic nerve block. And let me tell you, it was not good for me. Um, it lowered my heart rate. It lowered my blood pressure. I could not walk without help. Uh, my legs were complete jelly. I, I had to be wheelchaired out to my vehicle. Um, I was very cold, very tired, and very disoriented, just really out of place, out of sorts. That lasted me the entire day until about 9.30 at night when I could finally walk on my own again. I could feel it just come on me and be like, oh, God, it's out of your system. It was not a good experience for me. Um, so then, um, I've had some x-rays done as well. And then <laughs> the good news is that, um, my spine looks great and, um, yes, I do still have some damage, some, yes, I have damage at my L4, L5, S1, and that nerve damage is not going anywhere. Um, but they could not see the SI joint popped out because, um, they weren't focused on that area. They were literally focused on my spine. So I had another doctor's appointment, what, last week, I think. <clears throat> and <laughs> come to find out your SI joint is one of the most difficult places to get insurance approval. They want to see diagnostic tests, which are shots. Well, I have had uh, a corticosteroid shot in my back. It did not work very good for me and I had ad adverse reactions. I have then had a cortisone shot underneath my tailbone and then drenching that whole area of my L4, L5, S1. And that ended up horrible for me. I had extreme cramping. Like my feet would like claw over. I had cramps up my calves, my hamstrings, my buttocks, my columns up my back, my obliques. Again, that, that lasted me for about four or five days. And then it's two weeks before that's like out of your system. It was not a fun time when that happened. And then this anesthetic nerve block did not work for me. So it's been interesting. It's been a journey and it has not been a fun one. So um, nobody in my doctor's office wants to even touch me with a shot and can you blame them? So I'm going to be looking at some physical therapy, which does not help your SI joint. Uh, the other thing I've had to do is get an SI joint band and I could show it to you. Um, let me show it to you. So this is my SI joint band and um, it's a little too big for me, but this part here, it's upside down, this part here goes on like the very small of your back, like at your butt crack, right? This does not go around your waist, it goes around your hips. And then you pull this as tight around as possible, right? And then you pull these black bands all the way around you as far as you can go. And that has been helpful when I stand, right? So I can stand and wear it. I can walk around and wear it. I cannot sit with it and I cannot lay down with it. 
So literally I have been standing for, you know, working and stuff, but I, I have been standing for 10 to 14 hours a day with this thing. Um, of course you have to take it off when you have to go to the bathroom or when you, you're finally just so tired, you just need to sit down. Um, so there's some breaks in there, but literally I have been standing for, 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 for that because I can't, I can't have, I, there's no comfort. There's no relief of the pain. Right. So I've been wearing this thing now for about a week. Um, and it has given me some relief. And then after I've worn it for all day or at least hours and hours at a time, if it's hours and hours at a time, I can take it off and I can get probably 30 minutes to an hour of relief before the pain starts to come back. And then if I've worn it all day, um, then I have maybe two hours before the pain starts to come back. Um, so we're just going to see what happens here. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm, I'm really, I'm really hoping that this just heals on its own. Um, I'm taking an anti-inflammatory and then I take a painkiller at night. Um, I am not drinking. I'm not doing anything like that because I'm on an anti-inflammatory. That's a minor little painkiller. And then I'm taking my painkiller at night. So, um, no drinking for me. Um, and then <clears throat> if you've seen my lives, you know, for St. Patty's Day, I drank and I didn't have an anti-inflammatory in me that day. And I also didn't have a painkiller in me that day. So I could literally have St. Patty's Day with you guys. Um, yeah, so that's what's been up. That's why I haven't been here. That's why I haven't posted anything. Again, I apologize. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you hanging out and waiting for me. Um, I have a new episode coming up for you, um, which is going to be the 1930s. And then I'll be going into the top 10 madams. And my very good friend, Rachel, is going to be doing that with me. And I'm really happy and excited about that. It's going to be a little bit different of a video. Uh, anyway, so if you have any questions for me about this, go ahead and please leave it in the comments below. Or you can send me an email at audrasargilis.secretsofsex at gmail.com. Again, you can reach me at my Instagram, which is G-R-N-E-Y-E-D underscore or Wanderlust, W-A-N-D-E-R-L-U-S-T. Um, and then my YouTube. Um, my personal YouTube is my name, Audra Sargilis. And then my business one is The Secrets of Sex, a historical vlog. Um, again, I, I just, I, I love all of you who support me and are here and continue to be. I can't tell you how much it really means to me um, and realize that there's people, guys, in your life that are dealing with hidden, invisible demons. And some of those could be addiction. Some of those could be eating disorders. Some of them could be depression. And some of them could be dealing with chronic pain. And a lot of us that deal with chronic pain, we hide it so very well because this is just something that we deal with, you know, it, it, we do what we can to make it go away and, and to make it better. I eat an anti-inflammatory diet. I really don't drink very often. Um, I, I eat very good and I don't do the activities that I know that are going to really cause, um, a nerve flare up. So, just realize that there's hidden struggles that you just don't know about. This goes for everybody. Just a little bit of kindness goes a long way. And, you know, sometimes it affects our attitudes. We can't help it. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not aimed at you. Just it builds up after a while, you know, and we have a bad day. We have a bad day and then we get back from it and we're like, God, I was an asshole. Just understand it's not your fault. 
Um, but give us some leeway. We're dealing, we're struggling. <laughs> I have been, and that's why I haven't been here. There was just no way for me to be able to do this and give 100%. So that's why I'm giving the video so you understand what ha what's been going on with me. And um, I just, again, want to thank you so much for being here, continuing to stay here with me and supporting me. It really does mean the world. So I will see you in the next video, my loves.